the School of Environmental Sciences started functioning at the CMS College Kottayam since 1995. The school has moved on to its own building in the Mahatma Gandhi University campus in 2007. Today, the school is known as one of the best performing environmental science department in the country with state-of-art research equipment and infrastructure. The school offers two MSc and one MPhil program, MSc Environmental Science and Management, MSc Environment Science and Disaster Management, MPhil program in Environmental Management. The school also offers PhD program in Environmental Science. Diploma courses are offered at Dr. R. Satish Center for Remote Sensing and GIS along with special training programs. Environmentally important days such as World Environment Day, International Ozone Day, International Disaster Day, etc. are observed by the school with more importance. By these celebrations, the school is trying to keep the university and public community as aware about our environment. Also, the school is ensuring the participation of school, college students in these programs. A number of experts in various fields of environment are visiting as part of various national and international seminars and conferences conducted by the school every year. Scholar in Residence Program under the erudite scheme of the State Education Council, Government of Kerala. The school has invited Nobel laureates like Professor Farid Murad, Professor Robert Huber, Professor J. Desihofer, Professor Sir Harold Walter Crato, and more than 25 scholars from various institutes across the world. The school has mobilized money through research projects funded by national and international agencies. The research project grant and the funding from various national and state agencies for enhancement of facility helped in building up of well-equipped laboratory with advanced sophisticated instruments. GCMS, ICPMS, LCMS, LCQTOF are some of them and is being used for the analysis of organic pollutants such as persistent organic pollutants, emerging pollutants, volatile organic compounds, etc. in various environmental matrices. The school is also having analytical facility for highly toxic metal mercury. The school is actively doing research in various fields like biotechnology, biodiesel from oil seeds, microalgia, purification of wastewater with the help of membrane technology, an advanced oxidation process and other pollution aspects. In the energy sector, school is conducting studies on microbial fuel cells and biomass energy microbial contamination of the environment, role of microbes in various elemental cycles, and identification of new useful microbes are investigated in the school. The school is a part of national programs like uranium monitoring, background radiation monitoring, and vegetation carbon pool assessment with Baba Atomic Research Center and NRSA. Now the school is part of Indian Arctic Expedition and the school conducts studies on polar environment since 2013 based on the MOU signed with National Center for Antarctic and Ocean Research. The school is conducting research on zero water waste eco-friendly toilets in collaboration with California Institute of Technology under the Sustainable Sanitation Program. The school's library is well equipped with a good collection of books, journals and reprints. These are 6,000 references and textbooks. Current subscription to 50 periodicals, PhD thesis, an MSc, an MPhil. Dissertations submitted by the students of the school. The school has developed a computer lab with DST fund and students are taught various softwares here. 
as a major department in the University of School undertakes various extension activities inside and outside of the campus. School of Environmental Sciences acting as a custodian of the Jivika Live Laboratory in the University campus. The 12 hectare area of the natural vegetation keep the university more green and pure. The school is keen in the variations in weather conditions of the campus at Jivika Live Laboratory. The school has also done rainwater harvesting and environmental auditing program in the university campus. Every year, students from the school remove the plastic and other non gradable waste from the Padramanal Island of Vemanad Lake. The school is conducting a rainwater harvesting program known as Rainwater for Humanity for the local people of Achinagam. The school also having a high range environmental research center, HERC, at Nirungandam for studying the various environmental problems of highland areas. Vemanad Environmental Research Center, one of the dreams of the school, becomes reality as the state government has sanctioned 2.64 crore for the center to conduct studies on the monitoring of sustainable utilization of Vemanad wetland ecosystem.